Hello everyone, it's Thursday. So about five years ago, I made a video where I talked about risk taking. At the time, I had just returned from a week long retreat with some of the teens from my church, and I was reflecting on some of the experiences I had during the retreat that really pushed me far outside of my comfort zone. As I said in that original video, I am not a huge risk taking person because they make me uncomfortable, and I would be afraid that should acting on that certain risk fail, I would be left either physically or emotionally hurt in some way. In some cases, when the risk involved other people, I would be even less inclined to attempt it, particularly if the individual in question was someone who was very close to me. I've said before that my friendships are very important to me, and I don't like losing friends because of something that I did. As I've gotten older and the years have passed since I made that video, I find myself going back to it at certain times, particularly when I need to take a risk. I go back to it mostly because I really like the advice that I give in it, particularly the last 30 to 40 seconds or so. I like to think of certain risks as God's way of leading us closer to Him. I only say that because I definitely feel that since I moved out here. Now, will all of these risks be comfortable? Obviously not. Risks aren't meant to be comfortable. It was not a very comfortable experience moving out here. But that's the brilliant part of it. We aren't called for comfort. We're called for greatness. Greatness doesn't come from being comfortable. Greatness comes from taking reasonable risks and feeling slightly uncomfortable doing them. Truth be told, since I made that video, I've experienced this very feeling of God pulling me towards something that's made me uncomfortable. Now, did I take the risk and act on it? Well, it depends. Maybe some of you watching have this same experience where you want to take the risk, you want to step outside that area of comfort, but at the same time, there's another thought inside of you that thinks you don't have enough information to take that risk right now. And depending on how you react to that thought, you could either stop pursuing the risk or still follow through with it. I don't know what category any of you watching fall under, but for me, I am always the person who errs on the side of caution and will listen to that voice. Because unless it's clear as day, black and white on the page in front of me, I usually won't act on it. And to be honest, I'm really getting tired of doing that. I know there have been instances in my past where stepping outside of my comfort zone would have been good for me, but because I didn't want to feel uncomfortable, I opted to stay where I was. For some people, it's hard. I know that. I understand that. I am that person. But understanding that growth doesn't come from being comfortable is also something that I really passionately believe in. If followers of Christ are called for greatness, and greatness comes from being uncomfortable, and being uncomfortable means taking reasonable risks, then that's what I'm going to do. I may not do it perfectly, but if I persevere and place my trust in God, I can be confident that the risk I'm taking is leading me closer to Him. God bless you all. I'll see you later.